Hi, and welcome to HR How To. Today I'm going to talk about how to manage succession planning. Succession planning is a process for identifying and developing internal people with the potential to fill key business leadership positions in the company. Succession planning increases the availability of experienced and capable employees that are prepared to assume these roles as they become available. Taken narrowly, replacement planning for key roles is the heart of succession planning. Here are four basic steps to take to move from those names in boxes to something truly operational. Step 1. Fully engage your stakeholders. There are many stakeholders in succession planning, and it is important that each be brought into the process in a timely manner. Instead of the chief executive officer and head of human resources presenting their succession plan to the board once a year, I suggest that the process start by engaging the board in the development of a forward-looking skills and experience profile for the CEO. The profile should be a living document refreshed as necessary to take changes in strategy or market conditions into consideration. It should also go beyond the traditional position description and delve deeply into both the competencies and experiences required for the next leader. It can then be translated into a dashboard for grading succession candidates in an objective manner. By engaging the board first in setting the criteria, and then in refreshing them each year, you create buy-in and alignment in the eyes of the jury, who will select the next leader. You force that decision-making body to think long and hard about what the requirements are for the company's next leader. Often they are different from those for the incumbent. You need a fresh look at the company by a board that is engaged and leading the process year in and year out, not just when a crisis requires it to spring into action. Step 2. Assess your internal candidates. Once your criteria are established, you should get a baseline assessment of your internal candidates. I recommend that the board look wide and deep. The entire top team should go through the executive assessment process first ideally by an outside firm so that you don't single out favorites and start a destructive horse race. The next layer of management should also be assessed or, in very large companies, a pool of high potentials from that next layer down, where a dark horse candidate can often emerge.